Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna get warmed up here, right? It's gonna be fairly simple. We're gonna play eight on the hand. We're gonna do fours, twos, singles. We'll then go into double time and play singles, doubles, fours, and then eights. It's all rebound strokes, so very relaxed. The stick should be doing most of the work. Technically, this could be difficult, but physically, this should be very easy, all right? So stay loose, try and copy my hands. All right, I'm gonna use match grip, but you know, use whatever you're most comfortable with. I might switch to traditional, I don't know. Depends on how I feel. So we're just gonna get going. I'm also gonna play quarter notes with my right foot. So every downbeat, I'm gonna play up beats with my left foot, and I'm always gonna start the feet first. Okay, feet tend to be everybody's problem areas. So we're gonna actually work on the feet first. I'll count you off, then we start adding the hands. Hope you enjoy, and make sure you're ready. Let's go.
right, how'd that go? How'd you do? It's fun. I, that's fun to me, right? Just mixing it up. Don't worry about, you know, how many times we play it. I didn't. When you warm up, I, I mean, you're really just trying to, you're just trying to warm up. It's Don't overthink it. We tend to overthink most things. I personally overthink uh, everything, okay? And that's a little fact about me. So just trying to keep it simple, trying to stay relaxed, trying to get the blood flowing, right? Heart rate's elevated a little bit, right? Now we'll ramp it up a little bit. I'm going to keep the same foot pattern there. Now you notice that foot pattern, the right foot playing a one, a two, a three. I have to subdivide with 16th notes. I have to know where E as well as and are, so I don't play those. And then I play a one, right? That's like a, like, like a samba foot pattern, right? That could be tough for you. Maybe just take out the uhs and just play one and two and like this. Sounds like this. Here, listen. Okay, take out the, the hiccup. Then you can start adding that, this, like a slide technique, so you can play those two notes on the right, and then you get what you heard in that, that actual exercise. Okay, so take your time. Be nice to yourself, man. Be, if you're not nice to you, then who's going to be nice to you? Think about it. You got to be buying what you're selling, or no one else will. So now we're going to play paradiddles, okay? Accent on the first note of the paradiddle. That's how it, it's written in the, the PAS constitution or whatever. And we're just gonna we're just gonna keep playing those. And then I'm gonna switch. I won't switch sticking. Hopefully won't switch rhythm or, or timing, but I will move the accent to the second note of the paradiddle. Okay? Play that play there for a while. Right? Settle in. Some of the paradiddles are going to be uneven. Some of the paradiddles will hopefully be pretty decent. I'll do it again. We'll play accent on the third note of the paradiddle. And then guess what? That's, if you guess you play the accent on the fourth note of the paradiddle, you're a genius. And congratulations. And really, you don't even need to watch this video anymore because, I mean, you got it all figured out. We'll just play. The key is playing, right? We all need more reps, more reps. Whoever plays the most wins. Doesn't matter what activity. I like soccer. You think Messi is going this whole quarantine not touching a soccer ball? <laughs> okay, right? You think Cristiano's not doing sit-ups, working on those abs? Bro, he's doing sit-ups, okay? Same thing here with drums. If you play them, if you more you play, right? Just like the more you talk, you think I'd be better at words. <laughs> the better you'll be when it comes time to actually perform. And I'm not editing this out. This is in the video.
All right, how did it go? Did you okay? I made some mistakes. It's fine. You notice I say that a lot. I made some mistakes, and it's important to me that you see I make mistakes too. All right? You're either improving or you're declining. You're improving right now just because just because you're here. You're trying to get better. Right? That's all that really matters. You're going to make mistakes. I noticed the third version when I was playing the 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 and you notice we were playing sixteenth notes, right? Each paradiddle was was four sixteenth notes, so it's it's a grid there, moving the accent, right? If you did if you did the sixteenth note bass drum grid video, this makes sense. That's why you do this video first, right? So that you get you get going. You go and do those other like right footed independence or you know working on it working on anything really. This this will help you there. But you notice that third one, when I was playing on the and, where it's kind of like you, you accent the first note of the, the diddle, right? There's a little bit, because you don't have to work as hard physically for that one, the timing between the, the, the two notes of the diddle, tend to, you tend to choke those notes. So I, I had to make an adjustment, right? Same thing with, I was actually rushing the, the last one, the fourth one, when I'm playing that upstroke, right? I, I got too excited. Right? I overcompensated for the tempo we were at. Right? That was 70 BPM. Right? Let me check my... Yes, <laughs> 70, 70 BPM. So maybe you need to slow it down. Maybe you're bored, and, but you're still watching this even though you're bored. Right? You could speed it up. Right? I just picked 70 because I like the number 7. So you can now put that into an exercise. I've, I've done it where you'll play a measure of, of each version. Really, though, for a warm-up, it's more important that you actually just play. Right? I, there, I, I was working on different types of strokes, upstroke, downstroke, rebound stroke, and then those, those really, I was trying to keep taps low. Okay? There's a lot of other things going on, too. I want it to sound and look good for, for the video. Right? When you're at the house, you're going to have distractions too, right? You know, so and so's at home, especially during quarantine, everybody's in the same spot. Use that to your advantage, right? Because when you perform, there's going to be people all around. I've never had a performance or a gig where there wasn't some, at least one crazy distraction going on. Okay? I can't then just go, "Well, hold on, so and so, you know, made a noise." Use that Pretend you're in a performance, especially when you're in a comfortable position, like when you're practicing, you know, in your room or something. Put pressure on yourself. Play as much as you can. Listen as much as you can. And do this video before any other video. This is always your warm-up. This is how you get into a routine, and you're golden. The sky's the limit. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you let me know what your stinky and Fabrizies were. I, I have no stinky. My Fabrizi is you guys being super nice online and people reaching out. It's been a great time to actually, you know, for community, even though we're not around each other physically. So I want to say thank you. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. We got this. Get through this together. See ya.